Do you by chance own a smartphone? If so, congratulations, you own at least one lithium ion battery. In truth, lithium batteries power a lot more than just our phones. They're powering the clean energy transition. They provide energy storage for renewable wind and solar power, and they're critical to the rapid expansion of the electric vehicle market. Nowadays, we're even calling lithium white gold because our clean energy future depends on it. And just like with gold rushes of centuries past, people are flocking to the lithium mining sector in anticipation of a skyrocket in lithium demand as we shift towards a low carbon future. Here's the catch though. Mining lithium from traditional rock and water sources is typically very chemical and energy intensive. Even with battery recycling, recovering one ton of lithium product can generate up to 10 tons of chemical waste. So this begs the question, if we're sourcing lithium with the goal of supporting the clean energy transition, shouldn't our mining and recycling practices align with this goal as well? I'm working to make lithium recovery just as sustainable as the rest of the clean energy transition by developing greener membrane technologies. Whether we're trying to extract lithium from a salty water brine or recover it from a battery waste stream, the main challenge remains the same, and that is separating lithium from a very complicated mixture to produce a very high purity product. To put this into perspective, imagine yourself in a giant ball pit where one in every 10,000 balls is red. And your job is to filter through everything and collect only the red balls. This is analogous to the task of extracting dissolved lithium ions, the red balls, from a mixture of many different dissolved salts in a brine or battery waste stream. Not only does a very low lithium concentration make this a monumental task, but the very similar properties of the lithium ion to other ions in the solution make it very difficult to figure out ways to separate out just the lithium. While current techniques rely on either adding lots of chemical inputs or lots of energy inputs to drive this separation, I'm researching membranes as a greener alternative. My work includes designing new membrane materials with just the right Goldilocks chemistry to allow lithium ions to filter through while blocking the passage of other ions like a strainer would. And it also includes designing creative ways that we can use these membranes to displace current energy intensive technologies. For example, I've worked with colleagues to design a membrane process that can reduce the energy intensity of a lithium extraction step by as much as 20 times. So next time you pick up your smartphone and question all the work that goes into sourcing the lithium that it uses, rest assured that researchers like myself are working hard to ensure the lithium supply chain is just as sustainable as the clean energy future that it permits. Thank you.